why are you commenting about your customers? You don't know who follow you. you like, even though I'm sad because it's me, that could have been someone else, you know what I'm saying? Or someone who's like interested in going to you. And it's like, no, I'm not coming back. Check out Pineapple World because Pineapple World is where your journey matters. So if you have a journey of the dreadlocks you want to share, you want to be able to be a part of a community that is going to the same journey as you, then go to the link below on the Facebook group actually to share your journey so you can be featured on Instagram. Welcome back to another video! Let's go! Y'all said it here? I did that on purpose. Of Activerse, the universe today! I'm bringing a fire to you! Probably a lactation. I clicked this video. Probably really upset why I made this video. But at the end of this video, you learn why I made this video. I will learn why I made this video. And the people, most importantly, will learn why you've been doing what you been doing. I'm just kidding, guys. That's not really to bash on lactation or anything like that. It's actually to teach you a lesson, even to a lactician that may have been doing it for 10 years and they know what they're doing. <laughs> I've been doing this for more longer than when you was born, buddy. We're gonna get down to what you've been doing since I was born. Locticians come as a pretty clutch in society for drill locks. There are some things that locticians do, just like any other professionals, right? Like, just like barbers can do, or just like chefs can do, just like, I'm just mentioning things like real estate agents can do, content creators, everybody can do, even, you know, when I clickbait you sometimes, it ain't right, so I know somebody made a video about it. We all do something, you know what I'm saying? But when we expose, we don't like it, you know what I mean? All right, let's get into it. The number one reason why a lactician can ruin your dreadlocks man and this is really really like important for you to take notes like go down grab your ipad or whatever it is take these notes and you will literally be like what this dude is right so i'm gonna just say it like this just like any business out there there's locticians out there for just for the money grab and they're not really like motivated enough or they there's not their passion or they just you know speed some things up and thus will resulting really not caring for your dreadlocks not caring paying attention to whatever that you it is that you have been doing with your journey so they just trying to sit you down there and just take your money so do you want to sit there right next to a person that want to just take your money huh huh or do you want to sit right next to a person that actually cares for you to say hey man I'm gonna give you like an hour to do your hair versus 15 minute of retwist 15 minute of retwist you can't even do a haircut in 15 minutes I do. You can't even do a lineup in 15 minutes. How in the world are you gonna give me in 15 minutes and get me out the door in 15 minutes and take $100 out of my pocket or $150 or $200 for a retwist, man? <laughs> I just want my baby. That's how I know this for a money grab. But I saw this one post, this one lady made. Uh, I think it's a, a YouTube video, actually. I'm gonna put it in here if I can find it again. But she was talking about how she went to a loctician and after the loctician did her hair, she went and checked, you know, the loctician story and different things. And the loctician was like, why do y'all, some of y'all just wait this long to get a retwist? This is disgusting, this is nasty, and posted about her hair. Why are you commenting about your customers? You don't know who follow you. Like, even though I'm sad because it's me, that could have been someone else, you know what I'm saying? Or someone who's, like, interested in going to you. My experience wasn't even super bad itself. Like, when I got in there, um, I told her, like, yeah, I started my locks on my own. I told her I started my locks on my own, um, all that. And, like, even when she was washing my hair, I'm like, dang, you low key rough, but like I didn't say nothing because I haven't had anybody do my hair other than me in forever. So I'm like, maybe I'm just tripping, you know, like it's whatever. I think she used like a thicker rat tail comb and then a thinner rat tail comb, which like I have no problem with the technique, but it hurt hella bad. Like it literally felt like at every row she was ripping my hair apart. You know how you scrunch up when stuff is hurting you? Cause girl, it freaking hurts. Especially on like the sides of your heads, your temples. Cause that's sensitive. Um, that's like sensitive for me. My temples and my crown, I'd be like, uh-uh. So literally the lady was like crying and making this video, YouTube video. And I felt so bad. And I didn't want to talk, bring anything, any of this subject up. Somebody has to bring it up. And this is for the people that are doing wrong. For you. Doing the right thing, you're good then. You're good then, my boy. Hey, 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 hey. Why are you 
running? Why are you running? Don't be nervous, my boy. I can't say my girl, because then my girl will come for me and you. So as a lactation, if you have something to say, first thing first you should do is talk to the client. Hey man, you should come in more often than what you have done before, because your stuff is just nasty, all right? Uh, if you don't want to come to me, that's fine. But I just want to tell you, because uh, I don't want to talk about you on all line. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, yes, you don't want to come here again? Oh, that's snatch if you came back like this next time. Let's be real with each other. You know, let's just tell each other like, hey man, you need to come more off. Like if I was doing somebody's hair and it was dirty as a mug, dirty as a cat, dirty as a dog, then I would have told them right there and then, hey, when's the last time you washed your hair, man? Wow, it's been that long? Jesus, you dirty as hell, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding, and I'm not. But I would tell him something like that in person. I would expose him online. That's not professional. That's not professional to talk about your clients on an online base. If you were talking to your family, to your husband, to the spouse, you know, to your wife, to your whatever it is, then still gossiping. I wouldn't do that. But at least it's not, you know, at a professional level where you're taking it out there on the social media where everybody can see it. Think about what other people would think about you posting about somebody that you just did their hair. If I had a bad dreadlocks or a bad hair at that time and I'm looking at your, you know, post, I'm like clicking through and you like, dang. These people are nasty. They don't be coming in here to get their drill lock retwisted. They should be coming here every two weeks, every month at least. And then I'm like sitting there a month and like maybe a few days. And I'm like, well, I really want to go to that place because you said a month, two weeks. What? I don't got the money, man. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, no, I changed my mind. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to come to you, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like a heads up. So if just like if you've been doing this, this is kind of like a correction, you know what I mean? Don't get mad at me, all right? Hit the like button. And the second reason why lactation can ruin your dreadlocks is because they cut corners. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them do a really good job. I've seen really good locks. Really good retwist. Like oil dub looks amazing, looks juicy. I love it. But there is some that cut corners and this is how they do it. And it's sad to say and it's sad to see and it's sad especially if you have been the one doing it. And it's sadder if somebody done that to you. And that is they grab a rat tail comb or a regular comb and basically they trying to separate or get the original or even give you a new set of line in your dreadlocks which your hair never had a line before. And think about this, if you've been growing your hair for like a year, six months, three years, four months, seven months, you already got some kind of form in your hair where basically, you know, the section are at. And if you don't have an original section made, it's kind of hard to make a new, you can't, but at the same time, you're gonna have to snatch out some of the hair out of another drill locks. And if my drill lock is pretty long enough and you're trying to strip out of it, I guarantee you that whole, out of that whole one drill lock, when you try to pull out of, you know, the new line that you're trying to make, at least 25% or even 10% of the hair will end up coming out but the rest of the hair is broken or it's not in the in the original drill so there is no way in the world that you're gonna tell me that's healthy there is no way that makes sense it makes sense to you when you're doing it because the section look pretty it look cute wow instagram will like this wow the next client gonna love how it look but you do not know the fact that you snatch the mess out of that boy's hair snatch the mess out of that lady's hair and no wonder why their hair thinning out i should not be seeing anybody's dreadlocks just thinning out like that and i know from experience i'm the last person that actually to say that I take care of my hair as good as a lot of people do for me not to have thin and out problem especially you know doing bleaching and everything like that I still don't have thin and out problem but you telling me that the hair is coming loose in the middle of the hair on the side of the head it's because you're not sectioning it out correctly, man. It has the original section. You don't need to make a new section. Stripping out the hair out of the dreadlock, man. That's just crazy. It may sound right. It may look right on paper. <laughs> it may look good on paper, but it ain't it, chief. And number three, yeah, the third one. I know it's getting a little spicy up in here. Getting hot, huh? Feel it? Yeah. I noticed when lacticians do your style, and I'm sorry, man. And I know this is the majority of it, but. I just want to give you guys just like to just like an attention to manage and not a problem to solve in a way because you can't really solve this problem. You can't say I'm not going to do this again because it's just like something to manage, right? So whenever they do your dreadlocks, I've seen them uh, retwist your hair and then style your hair, right? And when they style your hair, they 
pull their mug from one side to across the other side. From the front to the back, from the back to the front. That thing is stretched out like, like, like Samson almost came in and said, let me show you how to do this. is how I locked it up back then when I was strong. Type of deal. And I feel for people that have tender headed, especially like me. I'm <laughs> saying, I be crying. I really almost cried last time I had my lock done. I, I literally almost did. That's how much it hurt. And not just the style, but you know, the snatching of the comb. I don't care what they say about beauty's pain, but I ain't trying to go through that pain. No, no, nah, no. So, yeah, whenever you're doing a dreadlock style, please don't stretch out people's hair. Or if you are going to a lactation, just ask them, please don't stretch out my hair. I know, you know, you're trying to get that Instagram pic, you know what I mean? Trying to pop on Instagram, trying to get that 10K, 100K. But at the same time, I care about my hair, okay? So let's not do that. Today's not the time. I ain't got the day for it. I just watched Act Verse. You know what I mean? So let them know that. And no wonder why them boys be looking smooth on their, like, the hair looks smooth. The rapper looking dudes, like, you know what I'm saying? They, they call me that. They look smooth on their picture and stuff like that. But you look months later, the dreadlock is falling off. The dreadlock is thinning out. The dreadlock, really. Pulling your hair out of like your socket is it's really tough for your dreadlock. And especially if you have skinny dreadlock. Think about this theory, right? It's not even a theory, it's a fact. If I pull one strand of hair, think about how skinny one strand of hair is. Versus I pull like, let's say, 100 strand, strand of hair. Which one do you think is going to snap faster? <laughs> you smart over there, huh? You real smart. And so that's why I want you guys to be careful, especially if you have a skinny dreadlocks already. Them styles, boy, you look crispy but you'll be crisped out later on them things will start snatching out off your head your head will literally have bald spot right here right here right here right in the back and right in the front and your hairline is already terrible so, so might as well call it a dang shave shave your whole head and say michael jordan michael jordan michael jordan <laughs> so yeah guys i'm not here to bash you know like tissues or anything like that i dye people here and different things like that so i know there's some damages that's happening with that but I just wanted to make sure that the things that I've noticed with locticians, they do, uh, you gotta be careful. And also when I die, I know I have, you know, standards and everything like that. Unless the client is like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Torture my head, man. And you know, that's when I'm like, okay, I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gonna walk out burnt, you know what I mean? You walk out torture, right? But I usually avoid like a lot of things like my baby hair, my roots. Um, and different things I don't do over the limit amount of time for bleaches even for the dye and different things like that so I wash my hair no wonder my hair is still going and you probably mad as heck commenting every single post this do hair about to fall out when have you seen my hair fall out oh the one the one uh, video you saw oh yeah that actually somebody cut my hair buddy so don't try to come for me because I'll come all right I just, I'm just kidding I love y'all Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, keep acting the and creating your universe. You know, watch my previous video and you know, subscribe. You know, say you dig, I'm out. You feel me?